Evan, in this video, I'm going to show you how to collect leads from your website, how to get notified as soon as somebody becomes a lead on your website, how to add their information automatically to a spreadsheet instantly so that you don't have to do it manually, and also how to automatically send them an email uh, as soon as they fill out a form. So let's say somebody's viewing your website and they decide they want to get a quote, so they fill out this form. As soon as they hit submit, a couple seconds later, they're going to get an email um, that could have your procedure list. You know, it could say, all right, this is what to expect. Uh, you will take a look at your address. We'll give you a call shortly. You could even have um, a set of your actual kind of a checklist before get, getting washed. Make sure you, so you could say something like, make sure you have your bushes trimmed back as much as possible. Make sure you have all windows closed. Make sure to keep your pets and children inside um, and just kind of give them a walkthrough. Completely up to you how you do that. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, let's just get right into it. So let's say you have this form right here. The first thing you want to do is go to submission and submission recipients, and you want to enter your email right here. Now, this is Ben's website, so it's going to have his email at the end. I'm just using mine as an example to show you. Um, but what how this works is as soon as somebody fills out this form, whatever email you put in right here will automatically be notified with all of this information. So you can see the person's name, email, phone number. You can pull their address up on Google Maps, give them a call, and then give them a quote over the phone, or even just schedule an appointment to actually go in and do the job. Okay, so that's very important. Make sure you have that. Once you have that, you can set this to redirect to another page. This is not super important, but it could help you close more deals. I'm going to get into it probably at the end if we have some time. Um, but what I really want to talk to you about is this integration. So the first thing is Google Sheets. Click here. It'll have you connect your Google account. And then you can either go create a spreadsheet or you can just uh, create a new one right inside of here. I recommend just creating a new one. I'll open the spreadsheet so you can see what it looks like. Just give it a second to load here. So this is what the spreadsheet would look like. And then if somebody does fill out the form, it would start populating this. And then let's say I get 30 or 40 leads over the next month. This would be populated with all of those leads um, with obviously their phone number, email, name, and address that you can go back and follow up on. Now, how do you send the emails automatically? Well, this is where you want to come into MailChimp and you want to connect your MailChimp list. Okay. You're going to log into MailChimp up here it's gonna have you enter your verification code now if you don't have a MailChimp account yet I'm gonna show you how to do that here in just one second uh, pulling up the code right now all right now we can click allow Right, now we've got MailChimp connected. Now inside of MailChimp, you have to go in. Obviously, you have to log in. Continue. And MailChimp makes it pretty easy um, to actually create a, an audience. Uh, you're just going to want to go in and create. And the thing I don't like about MailChimp is they seem to change things up quite often, which can be a little bit annoying, but that's okay. The first thing you do, you do want to do is you want to have your email actually laid out. Uh, they give you all these templates. I use the free version um, for MailChimp for my power washing business. You can upgrade if you want to. If you start getting very busy, you know, you start getting tons of leads, and, and it's really valuable to you. Um, but you would just put your logo in here. Just, you know, put your logo in it. I'm not going to go through all of this. I think this is pretty self-explanatory, but you're going to go through, you're going to create your email, right? However you want it to look. And if you want to code your own, you can, but I mean, there's really no point in doing that if, unless you know how to program. Um, and let's come here, go to audience. I'm not a big fan of how they change the layout. Uh, I honestly am not a fan of that at all. Um, Okay, so you or they only allow you one audience. Okay, that makes sense. 
Gotcha. So in this case, I already have one audience, so I would use this one. But if if you did not have one yet, which if you're just starting, you don't, you're going to create your audience. And they make it very simple to go through. I shouldn't have to explain that because it's pretty self-explanatory. But you'll go through, create your audience, and then you'll, you'll come in here. Once you've done that, you'll save everything, and then you'll just pick email. You'll basically match everything up here. Uh, and we're not collecting the last name, so that's not relevant. And so now, once you've connected everything inside of MailChimp, you've connected your email um, form to your audience list. As soon as somebody fills this out and hits submit, they will receive the email that you type up, whatever the email is. You will also receive an email with this person's information, and the data will go right here. Um, so I can just show you an example with my website. Somebody comes down here and they fill out this form right here. Nevin Shields, submit. Okay. Now, and this is that one feature I was telling you about right here. If you go down to submission and submission actions, redirect to a page after submission and you can pick whatever page you want. That's what's happening right here. So now once somebody's filled out that form and become a lead, they can come down here and pick a date and time that works for them to get on the calendar. Some people use it, some people don't. It doesn't matter whether they do or not because I'm calling them either way uh, to set an appointment. So that just kind of, if they do pick this, I think there's a higher chance that they will close as a, as a customer, but it's not guaranteed. It's, it's not a given. Um, but yeah, that's how it works for me. Now let me show you the email. Right. So I just got this email. Homepage lead form, Nevin Shields, all the information I just entered. And so what I would do is I'd look this person's address up on Google Maps, have it sitting on my computer right here. And then I would give them a phone call while looking at the, the house on Google Maps and give them a quote over the phone. If they want a deck or a roof or something that I can't really quote over the phone, then I'll go out and take a look at it. Um, and, and we'll schedule, instead of scheduling the job, we'll schedule an, an estimate to actually look at the job and price the job. So that's it, guys. That's how you do it. That's how you collect leads from your website. If you have any more questions, reach out, send me a text, message me on Facebook. I'll be more than happy to help. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.